I woke up the other day with a start. I, I know I'd been tired, but I must have been in a real deep sleep when Narchi, the dog, jumped up on the bed and woke me. I'd been dreaming of Mum and I walking up the Welsh hills, climbing the stone walls. It was really strange because I noticed Archie had jumped up on the side in the bedroom and not the picture of Mum and I over. I had woken as I reached out with my hand to help Mum over the stile as she fell back. I realized that this was weirdly the same time as the photo taken on that day fell to the floor. I remember that day. We had laughed so much when Mom fell back. She hadn't hurt herself or anything. But we just found it so funny. <laughs> I'm glad we had taken that photo to remember the good times rather than get sad missing her. We always loved going for our walks in the fresh air. miss her so much and I haven't even had the time to register the reality of the whole thing yet. It's still a bit raw. People have been really nice but you know when they just don't know what to say? It's awkward and hard to deal with. I know they care. It certainly held mum in high regard. Then yesterday I was driving back from work and saw a blue Skoda. Nothing strange about that, you might think. But I am sure it was a sign. Seriously, the woman driving what looked like Mum's car looked just like my Mum. It was as if she was alive and driving down the road. I, I believe I actually saw her. To see her there, to see her there, in my mirror, was breathtaking. My heart was in my mouth. One minute she was there, and then she wasn't. I know in reality the car turned off the main road away from me. It's still a bizarre experience. They say things come in threes. Well, <laughs> I took Archie for a walk earlier to Golden Hill Park. Mom used to come there with us, and sometimes we'd go for a coffee afterwards. It's a bit dull, a little cold. It's not been raining. I let Archie off the lead and threw his ball for him to chase. This one, this one particular time, it went into the trees, and he ran at it as enthusiastically as ever. I walked over and couldn't believe what I saw. There was this glove on the floor, not any old glove, but it seemed to be the one mum had lost the other week. Archie was sniffing around it as if she, he knew she had been there. I must have gone into a little trance. I jumped as some woman tapped me on the shoulder. She apologized and picked up her glove. <laughs> I must have looked so stupid as I gave a glazed look. I was totally stunned. It was all a bit confusing. I managed to wake myself to call Archie and we moved on. Well, I am home now, and only just summoned up enough energy to make a brew. It has been a very uplifting experience, if anything. 
I think it has helped me. Now, I tell you, I kind of believe that this is coincidence and I'm reading too much into it all. But something tells me that this was no illusion. Mum was sending me a sign. I feel she was telling me to take care, drive safely, hold on to the things that are important, and carry on enjoying the fresh air and walks. Mum was almost giving me permission to accept that she was gone, not to feel guilty, and remember all the wonderful things we should be grateful for. Mom, you were always thinking of others. Thank you.